Hey guys, welcome back to class. This is another episode of How Not to Suck at Teaching. I'm your host, Mr. G. Uh, as always, make sure that you like and subscribe down there at the bottom, please. It helps me out, helps the channel out. And off to today's topic. So today's topic is passwords. I forgot my password. Oh no. Passwords are ruling everything in your life if you are a teacher. You have your gradebook password, your email password, your telephone password for your vo voicemail. You have your bank passwords, your cell phone passwords, your other email passwords. Me, I've got like seven emails. Why? Because I don't trust anybody at all. So so for me, uh, writing down a password is not much of an option for most, most of the things that I do. Um, most people, most educators that I've talked with, most uh, colleagues that I have, have about three or four passwords and they just kind of cycle out the numbers or the letters every so often just to kind of keep things fresh. Me, I like to have a bank of X amount of passwords just so that you kind of have a wheelhouse of what you usually rotate with. Uh, I'm very case specific for myself. Um, I like passwords that are long, lengthy, and very complicated. Uh, something like a WCFRX947, something like that, uh, works so much better uh, because then your students can't really cop hack you. You can't get hacked because it's a hard password to hack. Not to say any of those passwords that I just used as an example or anything that I've ever used myself ever. Uh, but it is a good thing to, to take into possibility for you to use. Uh, don't use the password um, key at ampersand sign and then a couple dollar signs for the S's. Don't do that one because then that's a, that's tricky for some people so they can't type it fast. But the big thing is, is be aware of your surroundings while you're working on stuff. Uh, when I'm working at my desk, I don't put want to put in anything on, on my computer when I have two things up. If my Promethean board is active, I don't want my stuff up on the main screen because people can see it, my students can see it. That's a problem. Uh, and then I don't want anybody who's directly over my shoulder when they can see my screen and my keyboard so they know what my, what my password is. Be mindful of where you are in your classroom, what's around you, so that when you're putting in a password, you're doing something private, you can hold, you can keep that security to yourself. Um, same thing for cell phone usage. Now, most of us know not to use your cell phone during class because if you're trying to set an example of my, my students shouldn't be using the cell phone in class. I shouldn't be using the cell phone during class. Do keep that in mind. Uh, but if you do have a password on your phone, I try and I'm really promoting, I'm highly promotional of using a cell phone case that also doubles uh, as other stuff. So me, I have a cell phone wallet uh, and it works great because I have a flap that covers my screen uh, and I can also use it as a little book and I can type in my stuff and it's easy to where nobody else can see what I'm doing, which is great because then your students aren't into your private matters, which is, it's a privacy thing. You don't want them up in your business. Uh, so passwords, make sure that you have some, some sort of way to remember those passwords. Now my school does this really handy thing. We got our little check clipboard here. Now, I don't leave this out in the open, but they hand out these little flyers that say, use your password. Uh, write down your password so that you remember them. Now, for our veteran teachers, you know the old ones, the old, old ones. For the veteran teachers, you do need to write down your password because you do have a tendency to forget. Me, I'm, very, I'm a tech person. I use passwords throughout my day so I know what I'm accessing, when I'm accessing, and I access it so many times that the passwords for me are, are auto-ingrained. So if I have to change my password on the fly, I've used it so many times that it goes ahead and hits itself into permanent memory so I don't really ever have to write my stuff down even though I have like a thousand passwords because I got stuff. And... I don't trust anybody. So make sure that you have uh, easy ways to find your passwords, write down your passwords, know what to, know what you're doing, and be mindful of your surroundings. It's a, just a good tip. Uh, make sure students can't see your keyboard, can't see your screen, can't see the big screen up on the top there. Don't watch your phone. Protect yourself. All right, class, you guys go, go do your homework. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom. I will see you guys next class. You have a good one. Later, guys.